How's it going everybody? Adam here. Welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Play world. And today we're revamping our storage system. Uh, to begin with, we need to move all of these chests and their contents into this room out here. And sort of break, dig away behind him down below a fair bit. Um, as a result, this corridor down here is gonna go bye bye. Um, and this room probably going to change too in the future. Or at least maybe the contents of what's in the storage there. Um, and as also as a result, this staircase will also... Actually, we can probably keep this staircase. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to be breaking into this room and adding storage a storage system. Mr. Chicken, you're going to be in the road. Um... So yeah, I am going to remove all of this right now, and I will be back with you with the the area dug out and sort of prepped for it. And there we go. Demolished everything. I even took out the corridor down here and fixed it up. And I've also turned off the dynamic lighting so my torch in my hand doesn't light up the area anymore. So that's making my frames drop drastically. Um, didn't remove this because I just let you know that this has to be moved as well. Um, at least the top part of this anyway. Um, that uh, jump where I currently am. You know what? That might have to be lowered as well. We, we, we shall see. But anyway, this is the layout that the room will have. Although it won't be single chests like that. Each of these would be two chests, double chests going that way. So if we could... So I don't actually have chest. See if I can break the correct side on this. Yep, wrong side. <laughs> uh, of course. Do, 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 do. Just shove all that in there. That's why I hold on to the rest of it. But the... Of course, things are in the road. The chest will be going like this. For each of where those double chests are. And like this one being an example, that's the bottom, that's where they all start, that height there, and they all go up to that height there. So that means we have six double chest towers, that makes sense. So that's 12 double chests per module. And the storage system that I'm building is one that Tango Tech has designed, and I will the link to the description for his tutorial in that. So the other thing is it does actually encroach on the room down here. Uh, so this entire row of chests is just in the road. Um, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's just that, fir that first row might be the road. Possibly the second one. I mean this area here that I've dug out each area is a 4 four by 9 starting from the chest and this is 9 blocks back here so or gee, Mr. Spruce Wood's gonna have to move but anyway I'm not gonna spare the details of me trying to build this I'm gonna just do this in sections so I'm gonna dig this out I'm gonna get the first layer of like where the modules go so I'll determine what happens with this whether or not oh no that's fine, I can just do that. Because <laughs> I thought I was going to be stuck. Um, determines where this will have to move. This has to go down any lower or not. I think it might be fine. I'm just not sure how I'll wire it up. Yeah, but anyway, I may get on to phase two.
there we go, phase one is complete. It's technically phase two as well because the hop is going sort of afterwards. This is what we're looking like. We have access to this, or we did, I covered that one up. We've got access to the sky. Um, it's also extremely windy outside. Failed to mention that earlier. So, sorry if there's background noise of that. Anyway, so we've got sort of the, I'm going to try to explain what we got here. Sort of the, the brains, this is the brains of the system. So we have a little clock. When this torch gets turned off, this is a clock that'll go on and off. Um, at the moment, I don't even remember what that's, I think the, the powers, I don't know what the powers. Power anything at the moment, but anyway. And we've got a sort of a pulse extender here for whenever an item goes into these are droppers. Gets shot up around here, clicks, gets sent off, and this sort of resets this. That's pretty much that. Terrible explanation. Really better explanation is to go watch Tango's video. Um, and this is also a silent system. And that one day is going to be in the road that last line, so we're going to have to take that out too. Just I hit the button. Anyway, I'm here because we're going to do placing in of the item, the chests. So, I remember. So thank you, this is height chest number three. I figured we might use the Bruce planks again. Not 100% sure, but I just need to get the chests in. This is the next stage. One, two, chest two, and that is bottom chest. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Alright, so they go in, like so. I want to put the normal chests that side. One, two, and the trap chest will go on this side. Three, four, five, six. I was holding shift, though apparently I wasn't. There we go. I don't know if I should put this in, but to see how this looks. Probably cap it off with some stairs, maybe, most likely. We leave a space, something else to go here, and Try this one instead with spruce to see if that ends up looking any better. I really need to off. Uh, don't know why I put that there like that. Go up to the top, like so. Ouch. <laughs> Place the chest. And then we'll do this for every side. Do, 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 do. Ouch. <laughs> And last column here, just to see what we think about how this looks. Six either side, I can actually just add those in as well. Up, up. Ta, 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 ta. Right, and I started one too low by one. I shall grab those in second if I don't grab all of them. Um, I think the spruce is better. Take this out too. Because then we can put these pillars in the middle or as Tango did, put furnaces there. So, and these are going to have a heavy on me. What are they called? What are they called? Yeah, item frames on there. Showing what's in there. But anyway, I'm going to do that for all of them. And move on to but technically third or second phase for the redstone. Alrighty then guys, so I have completed it, or all the redstone that is. Let's go around and have a look. 
uh, I also need to throw in some of the glowstone so we can solve up the ah, this is our old fishing farm that actually needs to be torn down as well because it's in not necessarily in the road but it's in the ceiling anyway so probably won't be able to see all that much but from what we had last time we was basically had the stuff at the bottom um, these are our dropper elevators and whenever they get turned on well, they only get turned on when there's an item in there so we should should never hear these unlike my other elevator one and yeah this sort of just cycles round letting items go in and out of hoppers too much so they cycle off from these torches being turned off to those repeaters being turned on that's pretty much how that works um i've just got to go around placing glowstone torches i might just go with torches because i can get torches easier um just wherever i can reach can't reach over there that's fine um it's more for stopping the redstone lighting updates when everything goes around being turned on i've got glowstone down glowstone down on the bottom probably want to add but i had it torches here and there as well so i will do that in my own time Whack, torches are around everywhere. So the next step is we've got to add in the input for this, which I'm actually probably going to hide here. Pick that up, that would be nice. Just throw a chest here, or maybe in the future change, I don't know if it fits in a one by one, but maybe change it for a shulker loader, which is you put a, put a shulker box down here and it can empty it for you. Um, that would be the other way of doing that. I think, yeah, we could probably do that in a one by one. Um, just wouldn't look all that pretty. Anyway, um, the other thing we've got to do is make it look nice. So I'm just going to go around, whack all the torches in. Let's see back here. Back here definitely wants torches. Okay, I better not do that now. And then we've got to get into the actual figuring out, sorting out what goes where in the chests. So nothing appears to have changed that much from that angle. Quite. We now have our input chest, our output chest. Uh, this is for where if and something goes through the entire system and can't find a spot, or if, say, Spruce wood is completely filled up, the rest of it will go into here. And we've also got three other input chests, just single chests, that I can just say, say if I put wood here, I can put all the wood in here and it doesn't have to go through this part of the system. That's so just a little, something that'll speed this up just a bit. And everything's silent, even this, so if I will go around here and show you guys. Oh, it's night time, of course it's night time. I can't, uh, can't get it. So, uh, this is the output from this module. It snakes its way in through here. A little hard to see in here though. So the hoppers go into this dropper. It's read by the comparator. This is just a pulse clock sort of thing. But it also goes around here. How is that block which powers two redstone dusts up there? which turns on this torch, which allows items to very quietly go into the chest. And apparently, you lag out a bit there too. But bam Cool. Um, joop. And I did put the chest here. Now, I've, I've worked out why my stairs can't be the other way around. It's to do, 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 it's to do with the forge client mod thing that allows us to do this and do the recording. You need Forge to do that. 
He apparently forged treats half slabs as four blocks as well as the bottom of stairs. So that's why chests can't be opened when the stairs are around the other way. That's a little kind of annoying. So we have to deal with being able to see up the top there. Otherwise I would have put a half slab or again upside down or a stair there. Anyway, I think we'll leave the floor like as it is. It's fair nice. That needs to change. <laughs> that means all of them need to change, dude. Don't think I have any birch wood on me. No, I don't think I have any more up here. Oh no, I got one. Is that it? I think that might be it. Nope, we got more. Yay! <laughs> okay. Fix that. So you need to do it. Is that a That's a hopper. Can't do that. Uh, is silly. Wait. Just gotta fix these ones over here. Keep doing the things. There we go. That one and that one. Cool. Right, that's not gonna let me do that. Um so I was thinking it's a little dull in here with just the spruce wood. Um but we're gonna be putting the item frames along there. Put the stairs across the top. Which I don't have. I think it's chest. Yeah, I know where stuff is. Get back my inventory. Right, going through those chairs, chairs, chests, plenty of times. Start to fix. Actually, no, I have. I have that now. Cool. Start to work out where and remember where some of the stuff is. Um, uh, up here's gonna be a pain in the butt. Try and put all this stuff here. We're going to put the torches. I don't even like that because they're the other side. That one there though. Aha. I had these up here because it was dark. There was dark spots up here and would have had the mobs spawning up here. Also, swap that out. Got to take out the hopper line. Do do. And basically render our. So storage stuff over there, absolutely useful. Break that one too. Um, probably put spruce up here. I was to guess that would probably work. Let's see if we can. That's not gonna work. Eh. Just want to see what this looks like, and then I shall do the rest. Or that as well. Can't jump. Pip. That there. There. No. Of course. Yeah. Do just see this one side and see how this. Meh. <laughs> Meh. Um, it looks weird. If we add the actual spruce wood in, we can't do it on this side here, but we could probably do it here. Now, I know I did this before and I didn't really like it that much, but I have to add an extra one there. Probably up a little. No, I still don't like it. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to try and work out what I'm actually gonna put here. I can't pull down, grab that. That's annoying. Um, yeah, just let me. I might try a couple of different things. Really only got wood to go with, though, so we might just stick with the spruce for now. I think. Would be the best way. Anyway, let me get the rest of that done. Uh, I might also try and do a ceiling, and I'm gonna break all of that up there, or just that chest. You know what, I'll do it now. Rained items. There we go, anyway, I'll be back.
Okay, so I know you would have seen all of the little clips that I would have put in. But here our reveal. Ba da da da. The only thing I'm not really happy with is the back wall. I mean, it's a bit better now. So I've brought up pillars. Uh, really weird with just the archway sort of cutting off there. No, it just looked really odd. Tried putting a little indents up there as well. It just looks weird. Nothing there. But this, this is nice. Um, knowing that we can actually sort of see behind a little bit, but that's all right. Now we have the tedious task of before this system can even be used, every single slot in all of these chests has to be filled. Now I already know that straight away I'm not going to be filling up everything yet. Um, like a lot of this stuff will just have filler blocks in it for now. But the kit trying to work out where stuff is also, while I remember, we're gonna make probably these two chests. It'd be better to have it over here. Um, we've got to change two of the hoppers to be facing off a different direction. Because uh, the only thing that this storage system doesn't work with, like all storage systems, is uh, items like tools that don't stack. Yeah, and I've also thrown the anvil and the chest here. Another crafting table. And then just, yeah, filled everything in with furnaces. Even though we've got our array thing over there. Might be just one of the just in case I need to smell one thing. Um, but for tool, I was going to put them over here, but I think this chest here work best. What the heck? What? Oh, okay, that's supposed to be like that. Never mind. I think we'll use these two. So, uh, which way is that facing? Which way are you facing, Hopper? Facing behind it? Yes, I want to break this one. This one. That one. The only reason I broke the bottom one, I didn't want them to go into the system. So we can place that one that way. Temp block. Place that one. Break that. And place this one. There. I almost placed it down there. Alright, cool. Chests. Go back in now. Oh jeez. A pep. A pep. These ones will be used for tools. Let's take them off so I remember. I'll place tool stuff on there later. So, basic gist of why I want to put stuff. Obviously, when I group things together, like we'll put probably the logs and wood. Be better to go next to or up above. Oh, no. I'm just gonna go with sort of trying to sort out things via the uh, item frames and we'll be back once I've worked that out. Well for now this is what I has. We're gonna put all of our most commonly put stuff in first. I can quickly find um, I don't think there's any here, but there might be. No, I'll throw it in later from the other storage system. So I've got to crop all that, bring that over too. Uh, but we're going to go with like the dirt, the stones, craftable stones, and we'll probably put down here the andesite, diorite, and gra granite. I say granite. I think it's granite, isn't it? I don't know. And their counterparts craftable there. I got sort of sandstone there. Probably want to put that with sand up the top. Nether stuff, that'll probably go over too. They have a fair bit of that. Uh, then we've just got the wood, with all the logs, thanks. The stuff you craft with them, that might go over too, possibly. No, no, no idea what's going here. And this side's basically, this one's sort of reserved for the natural nature stuff, mob drops. Acid mob stop, mob drops, cheese, and foods, and you know, crops. Want to go like that without 
breaking it. Then we've got our ores, the smelted ingots, paper with sort of like indication for fireworks. I'll probably change that for fireworks. Uh, this is also basically dead, like our first pickaxe. So this would be like all the all our tools have armor. And then I realized we also need the miscellaneous items that don't stack. This one would be for miscellaneous items that do stack. And potential books, if I want to store some books in here. Craftable tools that help. That, that, honestly, there's probably not going to be a lot in that one. That's mainly like furnaces, chests, uh, crafting tables, whatever I have. Anvils might even go in there. That might be a spot for that. Uh, potions, we have lighting, our redstone and rails. Redstone will probably go over two chests maybe, depending on how much stuff we have. And then this side's sort of reserved for all our colourful things. So we've got the wool, the um, the concrete powder, I'd put the smooth concrete here, the actual, well, actual concrete. We've got the terracotta, hardened clay. Technically, should say that the other way around. Hard and clay, technically, terracotta. Uh, that'll probably go over multiple chests as well. And we'll also put the glazed terracotta in there. And we've got the glass, glass panes. This is dyes. No, this is bone meal. I couldn't find anything else. I probably could have... Probably could have made one of them out of that. Uh, flowers, and then the ice. Don't know if this thing is actually working at the moment. Or whether I, it's when I, I just swap these around. I don't know if I've lost a hopper, or I dropped a hopper, or a hopper got picked up by the system and then didn't go through. The f well, the first one that I broke ended up in here, this chest. So we're gonna, I gonna, kinda gotta hope that this is actually working. Um, try that now with ender pearls because I have an abundance of these. Throw one in here. Actually, I need to change all of these three to chap, trap chests as well. It takes about six seconds and it should show up there. Yep, okay. This one will go immediately. Guessing about six seconds again to show up here. Where it's going to show up. It's a trap chest. Shouldn't be. This side, it gets flipped. So this is the trap chest side. So I don't want to... Don't even want to open that while this is working. That's my other set sort of use for using these. I could connect these up into the system to see which side is actually using items. Actually, that actually works because one, two, three, four. That actually works. We ended up there. Nice. Again, this is also the trap chest side. I kept everything facing that way. So. Yeah, that one's a trap chest, and this one should be the trap chest, yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, there it goes. Something might be wrong with this one. They have not connected that up properly. But anyway, that's going to have to do it for today, I think. That might be... On time, a little short, I have no idea. But I'm going to be, in between episodes, I'm going to be sort of fixing all this up, sorting it out. I'm really, really worried about where that ender pearl went. <laughs> I'll have to search through that, unfortunately. But anyway, it's going to do it for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to stick around and see some more. Uh, most episodes won't really be redstone heavy. I uh, don't know what we'll be doing next time, though. Anyway, hope to see you all then, next time that is, but until then, bye!